Hi, I'm Sean Chase with the Sonoma County Water Agency. I'm a fish biologist. Uh, today we place in one of our rotary screw traps. To place this trap in, we had to use a large crane to get it up over the trees you see behind me to put it into the water. We use these traps to catch juvenile Chinook salmon, steelhead, and coho salmon. Uh, a rotary screw trap works basically on a kind of a corkscrewing principle. Inside those cones are baffles. As the water hits the baffles, it causes the cones to spin. As fish move downstream, they're entrained into that cone and it kind of corkscrews to the back. Where at the back, we have a large live well where the fish are held until we come and uh, collect them in the morning. Each morning we come out, we check the traps, we net the fish out, we get measurements, uh, we measure them, we get weights, uh, we've taken skill samples so we can age the fish, we do a mark recapture study on Chinook salmon, we make a small clip on a fin, release the fish upstream, and to see how many of those we capture on the way down. Uh, from that we can estimate the number of fish moving through the river. Chinook, 64. This is a Chinook salmon, it's a wild fish. This is what our, what, why we have the screw traps out here is to monitor their population. Coho program fish, 108. All right, so this fish does have a pit tag in it. And this is the pit tag number displayed right here. This number is unique for this fish, so we'll know when this fish was tagged, how, what the size it was when it was tagged, where it was stocked in, in the system. It was probably stocked in Dry Creek or Mill Creek, and how long it's been since it was stocked, and we'll know how much it grew in that amount of time. The PIT stands for Passive Integrated Transponder. So they're very small and they're implanted in the fish at the hatchery and we'll also be implanting wild steelhead this year uh, on, this, on these two traps with these tags. And then when we recapture fish, we'll be able to you know, see how much they've grown. We're gonna be doing a lot of work down in the estuary this year, in the Russian River estuary. So we'll be looking for pit tag fish while we're down there. And that'll give us an idea of how they use the river and a better idea of how they use the river and how they use the estuary so that we can curtail our, our management and benefit those fish.